Hi, welcome to RadarScope, the premier NextRad radar viewing application for the iPhone. We're going to show you a few of the features of this application. Upon running this software for the first time, you will be presented with a map of the United States with over 140 different radars to select. You can move around the map by dragging your fingers across the screen. Double tap to zoom in, or use your fingers to stretch to zoom in, or pinch to zoom out of the map. When you've found the radar you're looking for, tap on the radar button on the map. The data for that radar will now load onto the map. To clear the radar buttons from the map, tap on the radar icon on the menu bar on the bottom. This will also display the city names on the map if you have that option enabled in the preferences. You can still pan and zoom around on the map while in this view. To change radars, toggle the radar buttons on the map by tapping the radar icon again. Pan around the map until you found your desired radar. Tap on the radar button on the map to change to that radar. Only one radar can be visible at any time. Your selected radar's name and time of the radar scan will be shown here at the top of the screen. Here, near the bottom of the screen, you'll find the radar ID along with the current product selected. To the right shows the last time that radar scope updated the image. A warning will be displayed here if the radar image is over 7 minutes old while the radar is operating in preset mode or 12 minutes old while it's operating in clear air mode. For more information about preset and clear air mode, please read our FAQ at basevelocity.com. You can also show the DBZ values on the legend by touching on the color bars. You can click here on the location button on the menu bar to show your current location. The map will pan to your current location. This will also track you in real time as you're moving. This is really handy for storm chasing or just avoiding thunderstorms as you're traveling. RadarScope 1.2 introduces radar loops. Tapping on the play button will play an animated radar loop over the last six frames. This helps in determining the storm speed and direction. For the advanced weather enthusiast, you can switch to a base velocity or a storm relative velocity product. Any of the three radar product types can also be animated. Lastly, you can tap on the preferences button. On this page, you can enable or disable city and town names and turn on expert mode for clear air reflectivity. You can also visit our help page for more instruction on how to use this software. Thank you for watching this video on how to use RadarScope. If you have any questions, please contact us by sending email to support at basevelocity.com.